time. Hey guys, Andy Quinch here. We're back with a new reaction as to how I made more episode 11 and 12 bedtime stories. Um, we're just going to jump into this one so guys enjoy the reaction. Leave a like, subscribe. Let's jump into this. Three, two, one, play. My fiance for causing a disturbance. Hey, you said fiance. That's a good sign. Now, what do you say we give that old button a push? Take a good look at this face, Barney, okay? Because it'll be you. I'm in danger. Future. This is my pretty mad face. <laughs> well, then we've got a problem. Because it looks a lot like your pretty hungry face. I'm missing the bacon wrap bag! Please push the button! Some of these openings, I'm just like, the fuck is going on? Da -da 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 -da. Just to give me the best surprise of my life, which, P.S., included an appearance by my favorite actor, non porn category. <laughs> non porn category? Sounds pretty cool. Yeah, except pretty not cool, because he kept talking about how he was going to get me back, and sure enough, a few days later, Robin, there's no good way to say this. <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> you didn't do this as a prank. What? I'm so sorry. Barney! I to tell you before it was too late. <laughs> Fuck off. Uh, how that was a. Since this is my apartment, I think that we should move out. <laughs> that was... No, Barney. <laughs> Could you imagine you played this scene in the writing? I know. Great prank, That was awful. That was terrible. <laughs> you psychopath. <laughs> That's horrible. guys and Robin, but nobody normal like me would under a marriage where you have this paranoia that Robin's hiding around every corner planning to get you back with some crazy new prank. You're absolutely right. Thank you, Lily. No, that, that was me over here. He wasn't listening. If you guys are saying what I think you're saying, <laughs> you could, you, yeah, yeah. That must mean no, it doesn't. that Robin is planning a surprise laser tag rehearsal dinner. <laughs> no. <laughs> he didn't tell you because you can keep a secret the way my dentist keeps his. That's computers. true. Oh wait, what? You don't know. Oh, I don't know, dentist. Lost them. Oh, Dwight. Can't keep a secret? You can't. Point, Lily, you're kind of the laser tag place. Where the real rehearsal You really got this in his head. That right, Theodore. Ah, Barney, you're an idiot. There is no laser tag. Or is dinner, there? Some drinks. Why do I feel like when he's so on to something that is going to be? She'll take off her wig and they'll play hockey with it. Poppycock! You know how she's gonna do it, and you're gonna tell me. Or do I have to get my face even closer? To Please kiss. You? <laughs> Jokes. Hey, how come you're Bet they didn't behind the scenes. I could be in on it too. <laughs> <laughs> of course you could look. I can keep a secret six miles away in the opposite direction, and I told you not to go. Yeah, well, you also told me you didn't want a ring bear at the wedding. Ring bear, roar! <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna be. The point is, I played along with a plan. <laughs> Him and the ring bear. Spoil the surprise. Oh my god. Six miles. <laughs> he went. Than yours, and he did it behind your back, Bastardo. He would never hurt me intentionally. I'll hurt him intentionally. <laughs> Molto Bastardo. Oh, that's sweet of you to say. You could never take Marshall under my wing. Yeah, that's fair. Oh. Apparently, Barney went to the laser tag place looking for a surprise rehearsal dinner. <laughs> He's he such an idiot. He threatened to dunk the snack bar guy's head into a vat of scalding nacho whiz. He's being held into the police arrest. What is Barney's problem? There's something wrong with him. Your apple chamber of letters as rehearsal. Laser tag has eight. Rehearsal has nine. And if you rearrange the letters. Oh, you're pushing it, Barney. She's about to go ballistic. Get ready for this. A marriage has to be built on honesty and trust and all of that Lillian Marshall crap. I thought our marriage was built on honesty and trust <laughs> and all that Lillian Marshall crap. I just feel so alone right now. Well, you're not. I'm here. And I know you can keep a secret. <sighs> yeah, right. Tell you what. Don't do it. You in on another oh, it's about the piano. Something bigger. No. Bigger than Chicago. Slight change of plan. Fine. Oh, Fine. don't tell me that actually is a surprise, surprise laser tag. <laughs> oh, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> I had to get out of the handcuffs. And <laughs> <laughs> and in that spirit, 
I gotta be honest. Oh, for God's sake. Every now and then, I am gonna lie to you. I just am. If it's in the interest of an amazing surprise, that is. You're gonna get... <laughs> That's what it is. They're not Lillian Marshall. They're Tag, but Barney and Robin. Where are we going? To the rehearsal dinner, silly. Let's get this party started. Ah, <laughs> oh, Barney. What? What is going on? I know how much you wanted to be in Canada this weekend. Oh, this sweet motherfucker. Canada to you. These are the best. <laughs> how could you ship her with Ted? <laughs> and Jake. Finger skater. Once there was this boy. <laughs> I guess he's just. Whoa! It's like watching you in ice again. Oh, it's that deep. Fuck's sake. Hey! <laughs> Robert Sparkles. I was actually taking figure skating lessons! He's gonna crash. Oh. <laughs> More than two months uh, to learn how to figure skate. Okay. At least he tried. <laughs> oh, I planned that out for a long time then, two months plus. I totally knew about it. <laughs> That was sweet. Aye, that was, ah. Oh! Fair enough, we can still play piano then. That was, a, right, that was good. Wait, what? Um, no, the, uh, no, that was good. Uh, you always know something's going planned, but <laughs> I didn't know which way it was going to go. I didn't know if Robert was actually planning something or it was Barney planning something or it was just Barney being an idiot. But they always lead to these sweet moments at the end. And I think. What this is definitely helping with this uh, set of their wedding is that they're trying to set up that they're not the perfect couple. They're bringing out the flaws, but showing how their flaws can help. Like Lydia and Marshall are the technical, like, full trust. They're the, like, the, what part, what people look for in a marriage. But uh, Barney, I like how he just says, like, I'm going to lie, I'm going to do stuff like that. But it's always going to be... And be like, oh, I just want to do stuff that's awesome because he wants to be a bit different. I think every couple is different and every couple goes different way. You shouldn't go into a mold because another couple does it or that works for someone else. Like anything, because you know, everyone's different. Just like how other people, it's just like, hey, it's just like every everyone's different, isn't it? So it's like, yeah. Um, I look, so I thought that was pretty sweet. And it led to a nice little moment there. But yeah, I just shipped them so much. It's just the thought of it going horribly wrong it just scares me. But yeah, we'll jump into the next one, guys. As usual, we jump in the next one. Let's do this. The outlook wasn't brilliant for poor Ted's romantic life. He was deep into his 30s, and yet still he had no wife. But then I did not feel about this episode going to be whole poetry. To magnetic force, I just see eyeballs glazing. I asked around, and people say your lectures are amazing. Oh, I hate this. It is really saying dinner. If it isn't too much trouble, can I take you out to dinner? <laughs> this is so bad. I don't like this. Uh. Hey. Teddy Westside's got a date. Hooray! We cheered. Ted's off the bench. I feel like this is a bit fillery. Because we, we know he's not dating anyone else now. The last time he saw We've met the mum. The screen test scene in Fame. <laughs> the then Lisa showed up. Ted rejoiced to see what she was wearing. For girls at business dinners don't have necklines that revealing. Fuck is this episode? But then a friendly handshake. I feel like this is like a season seven, eight episode, not in the final season. That's how I feel. We'll see how we get over when it ends. Talk about the weather. For this might be a date, which means there might be hanky panky. So dude, be cool. You're not getting any hanky panky now. Whoa! Here's a picture that'll prove it. As Ted looked at that cell phone pic, there were two things he reckoned. This definitely was a date, but there wouldn't be a. S <laughs> Just 
war immer noch super. People fall for Bonnie shit. I can't be a host. <laughs> oh. For fuck's sake, Barney. Show off. <laughs> Simon, nice to see you. So, what brings you to New York? I live I'm ready for fucking really? cake now. That's great. Can I get a fork? He'd always been a deadbeat and Wait, is that a guy from the fucking. Oh, he's the band guy. Robin like Orkful Robin guzzled French vanilla. Making noises not unlike those made by a gorilla. Oh, come on, Robin! She's doing it without water as well. That's fucking impressive. Like coaching Rocky against a frosted clubber lag. Oh, Rocky Four, my favorite. No, no, Four is with the Russians. No, Four is the one. Anyway, three is my favorite. No, Four is my favorite. Four. No, Tech Two is my Rocky Two is my favorite, and then I really like Rocky Four, even though I know. When I've rewatched it, it's pretty badly written. I just have a soft spot for it because that, that's the one with the, um, the Russian in, which I just really enjoyed. And then I have a big soft spot for Rocky Balboa. I think that one's really, really good. And then Creed. Two, Creed one's really good. That's all of them. Hey now, no need to be discordant. It's Rocky Four. No, three. No, two. It's really not important. Two is good. At last, young Robin one's aged a bit because there's no sound effects in the fight, whereas two, two was just perfect. The tale of Barney Stinson, player king of New York City. Oh, let's see his photo. <laughs> That's been the highlights of so far. It's just a little art pieces. Once upon a time, we all went out. Let's get this party started. Hey, can you push the button? I'm so confused. Oh, they just named the episodes wrong. Sincere, deep, sincere, deepest thanks. Oh, that's a mistake on Amazon. This has a in its ranks. But Barney here picked up a girl outside his territory. <laughs> oh. Outside his tuxedo Charlie's turf. He's mad. Um, that was a bit of a shit episode, I gotta be <laughs> I didn't enjoy that one that much. Mainly because it just felt a bit pointless. I've actually, I feel it was like an episode that should have been in like a couple of seasons ago, not now. I like the I like the story time episodes when they're done right, but that one just didn't feel right to me. Mainly because all the stories felt a bit pointless with no lesson really. And yeah, Marvin remembers fireworks. I guess that's sweet. I get. I wish I, I wish I wish the episodes did it in the correct order, and I watched that one first, and I watched the second episode after because the second episode would have made it for it because I watched the first episode that was good first, and ended off with that one. It just did a bit more of a sour taste on it as well. Uh, just not big rhyme reaver. I could, I could respect the cleverness of the writer. The, writer. the writers must have had a fucking ball ache of a time doing that one. But I don't know. What do you guys think of that episode? Is like one of your favourites? For me, I think it's one of the weakest ones that we watched so far. Um, but yeah, no, I've, I, I don't know. The first episode's really good, but the second episode, yeah, this I don't know. I'm just a big fan. I'm just a big fan of it. Um, Call the put not my not my top episode of the season, but they are good. The musical moment and always awesome and putting NPH and we WB together is delightful as well. Uh Delphine coming to like Marshall's music. That was cool. Uh Lena put uh, I really like the flashback episode. Um Barney meeting the mother for the first time in her media media being able to look through his act and call him out. This is such a beautiful way. To show her character and it's also kind of funny how it's established that her and ted met because of the wedding and now now we know that now we know that the wedding wouldn't have happened without them without which is pretty cool as well so for lily's first tackle was ted when she thought he was giving oh the wedding gift yes yeah, remember that her uh, room port you know what the people want the final cosplay naked man i just put the school yeah i should we're not doing naked man. It's final cosplay. i don't even i don't even think about i don't know i can't think of anything not got long either, have we? Jesus. Um, uh, some people, another two ep enjoyable episodes. My highlights were definitely the mum meeting Barney and giving him the serious talk he needed to hear. It's sad that Fed, though, knowing he believed he had the time truth, it was already too late because Barney started his last play that night. Even if I never shipped Ted and Robin, I can't help but feel sad for Ted in that moment. I do agree, I do feel bad for him. Second episode was a bit nuts, but you did recognise the Barney Wright style cover on the Big Bang Bang song. This will never stop being funny to me. Also, I always enjoy the good musical numbers, so no matter how silly they can be. So that's, that was fun too. 
in the end, James was being innovative with parents. That was funny, for fuck's sake. Marshall being so shocked at this being she gave by Delphine's daughter. Um, great way for the end of the storyline. I enjoyed Delphine's character. She was a fun road companion. Yeah, she enjoyed it, but I do think like the episode uh, that Delphine, the, I think the road trip went on for an episode too long. Like I enjoyed the road trip stuff, and I feel like it's still going on a bit now. I really want Marshall to be back with the crew. Like, I get they're trying to probably hold off him coming back because the drama of Lily, but I just feel like, oh, come on. Now it's like we're not got many episodes left, so I want to see the crew together. So I think, like, I enjoyed the ending of that, but I wish it was done a couple episodes sooner. Um, well, one episode sooner, and then he sort of, like, one more episode of him trip by himself, and then we got to the wedding. But I think by next episode, you should be back, hopefully. Max, can you do a tier list in the season of all your favorite characters? I could send you a tier list. Yeah, I'll do a tier list for How Many Mother. Though I don't think there's that many characters. I oh, know there's quite a lot of characters, actually. Yeah, no, we could do one. Um, but other than that, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the action. Leave a like, subscribe, then. Peace.